Nick Gepper is an icon. Nick is a ball of pure energy. Nick Gepper's a bit of an enigma, I think. Nick Gepper is a great big brother and a good role model. Nick's very creative. Nick Gepper is not done yet. Originally from Lawrenceburg, Indiana, let's make some noise for Mr. Nick Gepper. Nick getting things going. Backside 360 switch up, continuing 450 off. So I bought this house a few months ago and I uh, just wanted to make a big playground in the backyard. So I did. Yeah, the reason why I really love this house is because I got a ton of space back here. I mean, I think having this helps me because I have fun. I have a lot of fun. My friends come over and we just, it's fun. More than anything, it's just been fun to like build it all and like make it better and trying to get it to work, work better and better every time. Got my uh, backyard rail jam set up. Uh, we got the ramp. I love this thing. I had one just like this. Not at my house growing up, but at my neighbor's house. I must say what he's created is a lot prettier and a lot nicer than, you know, the setup that we had. But yeah, he totally just recreated his childhood. I know his soul's happy. You know, it just, yeah, it's great. I think what makes Nick a special guy is on the hill, he's the most determined skier I think I've ever met. The amount of time he spends at Woodward, coming home and hitting the rail or going to the COE, he's just grinding all day long and his motivation and determination I think really what define him. Nick since day one never changed his regime meaning he would always rather have a private coach with him and some younger kids around him. He wants to just share his opportunities. I think he's still just driven to be the best athlete he possibly can. Nick succeeds because of his hard work. I mean, he's training day in, day out, every day. Some people say that he struggles with style, but honestly, I think that Nick has his own style. He's like the ballerina of slope style skiing. Has great form, which I take credit for, you know, me and Casey, because we were gymnasts. Right now, he's on the cusp of qualifying by the criteria. The pressure is immense, especially him. He's got two of the medals. He's going for his third. I definitely feel the pressure this year, but also, like, I kind of learned that my preparation is what is going to carry me through. And, you know, it doesn't make sense for me to, to stress out or think about, you know, external things when if I know I'm prepared, I know if I ski my best, then it'll happen. Nick skiing has been a continual evolution from when he first started competing to now. He's always been the workhorse, so he's always been the one to, to put in the work and, and do the reps. His style of skiing is very much one of mastery. There's nobody in the sport quite like him. I'm just proud of him. He's come so far from his first Olympics and he's grown as a skier and I mean he's like literally turned dirt into diamonds. You know, I think the toughest part of the qualifying is he was injured at the end of last year, so he missed the first qualifying events. He competes best under pressure, which sometimes drives me crazy. My motivation has changed a lot over the years. Sometimes, like, positive good things motivate me. 
And sometimes I catch myself being motivated by maybe not as good things. I think people from our generation are finally like, oh wow, he's, he's still doing it. He's, I, I support this guy. I think this year for me is sort of the, the reward year for all of the hard work that he has done. He's learned a lot about himself. He's worked on both his mental and his physical abilities. I am so proud of him. We as a family are so proud of him. Totally rooting for my kid. Absolutely. Yeah. If you're just joining us on the mountain here again, Ben Ski Slope Style Final. Six features on course, the top three hits. You've got jib rail features, and then you get into the jumps. These guys are out here trying to get these points. Getting up on that podium or near that four-week podium, the most important thing. The more points, the better. And there are some heavy hitters in this field all bidding to try to make it to Beijing. I always have a little bit of self-doubt, but when I like prove to myself that if I just do the work and do the right things, like things will happen. And I think that's what this week was. You're gonna bleep this out, but I'm feeling fucking good. Originally from Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Let's make some noise for Mr. Nick Gepper. I got a little cocky, like the first rail, I just thought I was the shit. Uh, and then came into the next rail and just boofed it. I thought to myself, like, haven't I like earned the right for this just to go good the first time? Every time now, like, aren't I at that point? But no, that's not true, because you always got to grind and stay focused. And... But yeah, I just gotta focus on me and do what I do and trust myself and it worked out. This week, uh, ended up third in slope style. That puts me one step closer to get myself on that team. I mean, it was kind of a dream come true. Got to do another event. My mom was here, got to watch me. Yeah, it was an awesome day. My second run just zoned in and laced it up. But yeah, it was a lace to run, got to the podium, so I'm stoked. Getting, getting the podium at Copper has been huge. Yeah, he's really excited about it. And I'm really excited because this is a great step, hopefully. I mean, I love competing. I love competing. It's the most fun way for me to push myself and get out of my comfort zone and progress. It just gives me that, that most like human feeling. If I'm successful and my body can take it, then I'm just gonna keep doing it. <laughs>